The Ram 1500 has been one of the best-selling full-size pickup trucks in the U.S. market for many years, and all this is because of many good reasons. The Ram 1500 simply delivers the performance and reliability that is required from these trucks and easily beats the competition. However, there are some downsides to it that are worth knowing. Knowing the cons will allow you to make a more informed purchase decision. So, following along while we cover the 2025 Ram 1500, the truck's biggest pros and cons exposed. Let's first dive into the pros of this model and learn what are the positives of buying yourself a Ram 1500. Number 5. Powerful Turbocharged Engine One of the main highlights of the 2025 Ram 1500 is the all-new 3.0-liter inline-six turbocharged engine. This engine is dubbed as the Hurricane, and it replaced the Hemi V8s that were previously used in this model. This new inline-six engine comes in two flavors, standard output and high output version. Understandably, the lower output engine is cheaper, while for the high output engine, you have to pay extra. The standard version creates up to 420 horsepower and 469 pound-feet of torque, while the high output makes up to 540 horsepower and 521 pound-feet of torque. This is some really good power that allows the Ram 1500 to be one of the fastest full-size pickups on the market, accelerating from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. This is why if you are looking for a pickup truck that has a very modern powertrain and excellent acceleration times, the Ram 1500 is the model you need. These turbo engines make a whole lot of sense once you get used to them. They are extremely reliable and also very efficient. That's something that we will talk about in a bit. Number 4. Hybrid Powertrain What is also very interesting to learn about the new 2025 Ram 1500 is the fact that this model has a hybrid powertrain. We are not talking about the Ram Charger, but the standard Ram 1500. Specifically, the 3.6-liter V6 that is the base engine. This engine has a small, mild hybrid setup that allows it to make a bit more power and also be more efficient. The 3.6-liter V6 is assisted by a 48-volt hybrid system that allows it to push up to 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. This system's combined output allows this model to get up to 20 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles per gallon on the highway. The combined fuel economy is up to 23 miles per gallon. This is extremely good to know because some owners simply want to get something really efficient and if you are one of these buyers, you should definitely check this model out. It will not break the bank and you'll get a really solid fuel economy that will make a lot of difference when it comes to your monthly savings on gas. Not to mention that the 3.6 liter Pentastar engine is one of the most reliable engines out there. This engine will last basically forever. Parts are dirt cheap and servicing is not an issue whatsoever. Number 3. Good Fuel Economy Fuel economy is really important these days. Buyers are becoming more and more conscious when it comes to this aspect and they simply want a vehicle that delivers great numbers and will save them a bunch of money on gas. And we can tell you that one of the biggest highlights of the Ram 1500 is definitely its fuel economy. We talked about the fuel economy of the hybrid and learned that it delivers up to 23 miles per gallon combined. Now let's take a look at the numbers that the turbo engine delivers. The standard output engine that produces 420 horsepower delivers up to 17 miles per gallon in the city, 24 miles per gallon on the highway, and a combined fuel economy of 19 miles per gallon. The high output, on the other hand, is thirstier. This engine delivers up to 15 miles per gallon in the city, 21 miles per gallon on the highway, and 17 miles per gallon combined. Overall, if you want fuel economy, you should choose the base 3.6 liter engine that delivers 23 miles per gallon combined, while the 3.0 liter Hurricane, even though more powerful, only delivers average fuel economy. So be aware of this before you make a purchase. However, overall, this turbo engine is a pretty good performer considering the fact that you get plenty of power. Number 2. More Screens Another thing that buyers want these days is to have more screens inside the cabin. And since Ram is one of the most tech-oriented brands, you will get plenty of tech. For 2025, things have gotten even better, even in the base models. The 8.4-inch touchscreen was replaced with a larger 12-inch screen, 
and even a much larger 14.5-inch screen is available if you want to pay more. Besides this, you also get an option to choose a screen for the passenger. This screen is 10.3 inches in diameter. When it comes to functionality of these screens, you get the most powerful chips on the market and the Uconnect 5 software. All this guarantees a seamless experience for you and your passengers. On top of that, if you don't want to use the Uconnect 5, you get an option to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, all wireless, of course. You will not have to carry cables to plug in your phone. Everything is done seamlessly. Number 1. Well-Equipped Tungsten Trim Another big highlight of the Ram 1500 is the all-new tungsten trim. This trim is basically the most luxurious in the whole full-size segment. This puts the Ram 1500 on a pedestal and makes it a very attractive option. However, it is crazy expensive, we must say. This trim comes only with the best and most high-quality materials. So this includes quilted leather upholstery all around the cabin. Even the dash is extremely soft and premium looking. The seats are extremely comfortable with a massaging option and a ton of adjustability. With this truck, you'll never find it difficult to find a good seating position. Besides this, you have an extremely large 14.5 inch screen, a 23 speaker Klipsch stereo system and plenty more goodies. Overall, if you only want the best, the tungsten trim is a trim you need in your life. This trim will give you plenty of features and comfort that no other truck on the market is able to do. We've covered the pros. Now it is time to take a look at the dark side of the Ram 1500. In other words, the downsides of this pickup truck. So let's dive in. Number 3. No V8 Engine One of the biggest downsides when it comes to the all-new 2025 Ram 1500 is definitely the lack of a V8 powertrain. When customers heard the news that Ram ditches the Hemi for a turbo inline 6, they were pretty pissed off. The V8 is basically an American icon, and this engine is slowly but surely going extinct with more and more manufacturers replacing these engines with smaller inline 6 or V6 turbo engines. This is really sad because the V8 has many advantages over these newer engines. For example, the towing capability. These larger engines simply have more stable torque and are able to tow much better compared to smaller displacement engines. Not to mention, the sound they make is basically music for our ears. The tone that a V8 can deliver, no other engine can. But the industry is going into a different route, with more and more automakers deciding to replace these old school engines with something newer. If you really want Ram with a V8 Hemi, you still can, but you need to opt for the larger Ram 2500. This is more expensive, but also a far more capable machine for towing. Number two. Average Towing and Payload Capacity Another downside of the new 2025 Ram 1500 is the below standard towing capability. The new truck can only tow up to 11,580 pounds and carry a max payload of 2,300 pounds. So why is this a downside? Well, the competitor trucks, such as the Ford F-150 and Chevy Silverado, can tow up to 13,000 pounds. This is about 1,500 pounds more compared to the Ram 1500. However, Ram started to offer the new Ram 1500 Ram Charger. This model implements a very modern approach, where the ICE is used as a power generator that charges the battery. The electric motors are extremely powerful in this model, and the vehicle can tow a record of 14,000 pounds. This model also costs a lot, but if you want the best, the investment is definitely worth it, in our opinion. Number 1. High Price Tag And here we come to the main point which is the high price tag of this pickup truck. These trucks have gone through the roof when it comes to pricing, especially higher end trim levels. This infuriated a ton of future owners. People feel they are getting ripped off by Ram with their ludicrous pricing scheme. So the starting price of the Ram 1500 is $40,275, which is a decent price. But this price is for the Tradesman trim. The Tradesman is the most basic pickup truck in the world in some cases even lacking power windows, something that is a must these days. So for this 40K, you get almost nothing. You have to spend $45,230 to get a decent trim, such as the Bighorn. This trim is nothing too special, but has some of the main necessities. And if you want to get a really good truck, such as the Laramie, you will have to spend up to $60,030. 
This is basically a 15K difference between these two trims, and this makes the Ram 1500 a pretty expensive vehicle overall in this light duty category.